She says, a few days later, I see another dream. She says, I see another dream. In this dream, she's telling the story to Bishr ibn Sulaiman, the companion of Imam al-Hadi. I see Maryam, the mother of Isa, she comes to me, and she's walking with another woman, a noble woman. Her face is all Iman. I ask Maryam, who is this? She says, this is Fatima to Zahra alayhi salam. This is the best woman in the universe. And she tells me that remember in your first dream when Rasulullah married you to his grandson, Fatima is the grandmother of Al-Askari, the man that you were married to in the dream. So she says, I went to Fatima and I began to complain to her in my dream. Why hasn't Al-Askari come to me in my dream? Why has he neglected me? Just one dream and that's it. I fell in love with him. Why hasn't he come? Fatima tells her in the dream, the reason why Al-Askari, my grandson, hasn't come to you is because you're not a Muslim. Embrace Islam, only then he'll come to you. You're not a Muslim, he can't come. So she says, if I become Muslim, he'll come to me? Fatima says, yes. And if you become Muslim, if you say the Shahadatain, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be happy with you. Isa, you're a Christian. She was a Christian. Isa will be happy with you. And Maryam, she's right there. She'll be happy with you. And Maryam says, yes. So she says, I saw no choice but to say, Allah ilaha illallah, I said, Muhammad Rasulullah, and I became a Muslim. She says, as soon as I became Muslim, Fatima hugged me and said, now, from now on, expect to see my grandson Askari in your dream.